What is Americanism? Americanism is many things. It's propositional, it's liberal in the classical sense, and it's libertarian. It's based on propositionalism, unlike the ethnostates of the old world that are composed of genetics and language. Essentially, anyone can join subject to a few rules. It is quite simply an idea, an agreement, a contract. But what does this mean in practice? Well, it means modernism, the American way of life, freedom to be whatever you want without the social boundaries tied to tradition or religion. It's a shortcut. The ability to reinvent yourself. It may have had humble beginnings, but without the traditional moral authority, it would inevitably become corrupted. The pursuit of materialism, and not just the progression towards, but the encouragement of vice, which has in some ways been flipped and turned into virtue. After assuming the role of global hegemon and world police, or should I say, world terrorist, US foreign policy has been the cause of war, death, and destruction on an immense scale. Yes, my fellow America bros, I may sound anti-American, but I'm not. I'm anti-American foreign policy. As an American myself, I have no problem stating that these warmongers in Washington and their oligarch paymasters are extremely evil and do not represent the American people. Since 1941, the reins of American foreign policy have been hijacked by a certain group. And since that date, as if by coincidence, the USA has been the cause of and been involved directly or indirectly in just about every war and conflict around the world. Yes, war equals big money, and wherever money can be found, so will an American flag. So how do you promote and maintain a war industry when you claim to be the beacon of freedom and democracy, whilst claiming the moral high ground and pretending to promote peace? The answer is Hollywood and the control of information through the mainstream media. By elevating the American way of life and ridiculing the so-called less advanced countries by labeling them as backward and oppressive, it becomes easier to gain support for military intervention, regime change, and revolutions especially with full control of the entertainment industry and news media. Creating narratives is as simple as writing a script. Americanism was promoted from the 50s until fairly recently. It claimed to be patriotic, Christian, and more or less conservative. But it also promoted large corporate style business, modern living, materialism, convenience, pragmatism, and permissiveness, or liberalism. All this can be summarized in one word, modernity. Americanism has always been sold as this idea of freedom, which I'm not saying is bad. We are all made free and should remain so. However, without a moral foundation, freedom and democracy cannot work. So it's an easy sell, as every person wants to enjoy freedom. But what is meant by freedom? Free to be immoral? Free to follow one's desires? Do as thy will, as long as it doesn't involve harming others. A quote from the Satanic Bible. So Americanism operates under the guise of freedom, but ends up with the manifestation of unstoppable greed as people become slaves to their passions. It's a trap. The liberal ruling class understood that there was no need to be oppressive 
and rule with an iron fist through violence and hard power. No. Simply give people what they want, and they will oppress themselves through their own passions. Now, of course, in practice, you need to remove the moral framework of a society. In this case, it's Christianity, which has acted as a shield against immorality for centuries. However, it's no coincidence that with the diminishing power of the church, we see an increase in degeneracy and moral degradation. The temptations offered by Americanism are irresistible, which is why it's such a successful ideology. It generates wealth and offers class mobility for everyone. However, as mentioned, with the moral authority being removed and replaced by capital, this gives way to lust and greed, as the bottomless pit of desire can never be filled. The never-ending quest for that gold that will fix all of one's problems. It will certainly fix all of one's material problems. So by keeping man focused on materialism, you can control him as you dangle the carrot, which he will chase until he drops. In God we trust. Which God are we talking about here? Wasn't the separation of church and state one of the founding principles? Wasn't God excluded from politics? After all, this was a post-enlightenment idea, and there is no place for superstition in this new, rational world. This God that we so trust in is in fact some pagan deity, or we can just call it for what it is, Mammon, the God of riches. Man is easily tempted and the father of lies knows this, which is why we've seen the rise of atheism correlate with modern degeneracy as the old pagan gods are once again being worshipped, Moloch, Baal, and Mammon. Americanism is neo-paganism, hyper-individualistic, and worship of the self, which inevitably leads to human sacrifice, which is exactly what abortion is. This is nothing new. This is a repeat of history. Man either respects the natural order and the moral laws, or he rejects them and descends into chaos. Everything starts in America, this great experiment, far away from the old continent. It is the petri dish of social engineering the test tube of society. Any new ideas that prove successful are then rolled out to the rest of the world. This took decades, and many places rejected American ideas. Until recently, when the internet and air travel allowed for Americanism to be exported more rapidly. But then came the smartphone, and that changed everything. Now, Americanism has penetrated into the most remote parts of all nations. Its reach is unparalleled. It has become a global ideology with a global influence and global control. So what is Americanism? Americanism as an ideology was itself an experiment, and the American Republic was the pilot. The project was completed and has now been rolled out as it stretches across the globe in what has become a new empire, the global empire of Americanism, or put simply, globalism.